Hi guys, well if you're new to the channel, uh, I've split from uh, Svetlana and having to find somewhere to live, I was looking for a sailboat project. I found this 1988 Benetel First 305 that had been abandoned. It's in a bit of a sorry state, the headline is missing just about everywhere. Uh, the bilges were full of water and uh, the engine was in bits. So I've given myself six weeks to get it back up and running and uh, seaworthy. So join me on the journey, and if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. There we go. Well, I've come over to Meganesi, which is where Captain Svetlana is, uh, notably to do some jobs here, pick up the cat, say hello to the dogs, which I miss terribly, um, and um, use the inverter that's on Captain Svetlana to get some power tools working on the boat. So I managed to get Driscoss rafted next to Captain Svetlana and uh, didn't drop the anchor, I just literally put the bow rope onto the cleat on Captain Svetlana. Drove. Yeah. Well, I'm finding it impossible to keep the place clean and tidy. Look at this. So I've got to have a right good clear out again and see what I can sort out. Um, yeah, there's wires dangling and yeah. Um, I've added an extra switch in here so that I can run the Starlink because the switch panel's a bit faulty. And while I've been at it, I've robbed a couple of batteries from Captain Svetlana, um, lithium batteries I'm going to basically use to get a better, um, better power here. Um, work it through. So I think what I'm going to do is order a DC to DC charger, like I had on Captain Svetlana, that allows you to run the, um, the photo cells, so that we can run um, solar from there, and then um, we can work from there. So yeah, um, get it tidy. I think, get it swept up, get the dirt out of here and, and what have you, and then hopefully be able to move forward. So, next job. Right of the boat is looking almost back to normal. Oh, this side. Here's a mess. And I stood on the cat's food, so she's not happy. She's disappeared off into the back cabin. Oh no, she's here, look. There you are. Hello, Luce. Hey, no, sweetheart, you're right. Is it nice and cool there, is it? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. She's not overly happy. <laughs> but she's making the best of it, aren't you, sweetheart? We'll get there, won't we? Well, morning, guys. Sunday morning. Use the opportunity of having the inverter to start on this back cabin with the... Um, drill with the wire brush to get all the glue off the ceilings and the sidewalls and uh, it's about 95% of the way there now so um, I've got just a little bit more to do this morning I ran out of light last night so I'm going to get cracking with that um, it's still a little bit too early it's 8 o'clock so I don't want to be um, running the vacuum cleaner and um, the drill much before nine, I think. So I'm going to go and grab some breakfast and then get started. Uh, I've just got that little hump to do at the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and uh, a little bit underneath there. But, I mean, it's really itchy stuff. Uh, so it's, you've got to be careful with it. Uh, once I've done that, at least that means I can then, you know, get the cushion covers washed in here. Uh, I'm going to paint this out with that white epoxy primer, I think, just to make it look better. Um, and then we can work out what we're going to do with it in terms of um, getting a liner in, getting some light in here. Uh, because this little light on the side here is about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Um, so there's the wiring coming in. I'm thinking if I can run it along here, 
and then maybe um, put some lights up underneath here um, above the shelf um, or maybe do what I've done in the front cabin and put it just underneath the shelf and have a couple of strip lights something like that so you can move to it So, time to sort the battery situation out. We've got a single lead out battery for the starter motor, and I've got two lithium batteries here. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to put the second, but the first one is going to go here where the lead acid battery is at the moment. I'm going to move the lead acid battery further back. I've got a DC to DC charger to fit, and I've got a battery monitor to fit. And it's the same as I had on Captain Svetlana, so that should be able to monitor both the leisure battery and the starter battery. And I just need to figure out where I'm going to put them, basically. Um, so yeah, so that is today's job. I need to create a new battery tray, I think. That's going to be an interesting job. Let's get you settled in there for now. Like that. Yeah, so I need to take the end off here. And I need to get a ratchet. Okay, let's just wire everything in and then we can worry about the rest of it afterwards. So, get it wired in and working in theory. It's dark in here, isn't it? Okay, so I think I've figured out what's going to happen. There's enough room to fit one battery here. Okay, and I can route the cables through here, under the sink, behind the cooker, into this cabinet, then round and into here. So that will be that one. I'm wondering if there is enough room to put one, if I build a shelf there, to put one there. And if there is, then I can cable the two in and uh, and leave the lead acid battery where it is under the steps here and work from there but i'm going to need a really long cable so i need to measure that to get to there i'm going to pop the other lithium battery in the secret fits and we'll work from there well i think the answer to that is yes it will fit just so I can strap it in there and that gives me two lithium batteries to work with so that's not bad that will work okay so the battery's in and just need to tidy some of the cables up this is the DC to DC charger that's in 
The battery monitor is working, I just need to route the cable through somehow. Because I want to get it somewhere over here. Uh, so, yeah, getting there. So I've now got lithium. What I haven't got is a running engine, and I think it's something to do with the positive terminal on the um, wiring loom, which I need to work out. But, you know, we're getting closer. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Leave some skin, eh? Leave some skin. Thank you.